Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I'm Michael Brenholt, and in today's video, I want to show you how to set up stabilizing walls in both the Insight and GrabCAD print software programs. Stabilizing walls are beneficial to help support tall, thin walled parts in an FDM system. But before we begin, please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Okay, let's get started. Coming up here in Insight, on an already sliced part, I'm going to click on the Support tab and choose Stabilizing Wall. It's going to pop open a new menu to the right. In this new menu, if you haven't seen this before, anytime a new menu is open, all of these different features may be confusing to you as to what they mean. Don't forget to come over here to the Help menu with Current Operation and it will open up a deeper dive into what each one of those different specific points is in relation to that function. We'll minimize this. Based on this part and knowing that I've got a gap over here in the back of the part, I'm going to come over here and go to my very top layer. Choosing the very top layer and coming back to the right, I'm going to say I want the stabilizing wall to start right here and I'm going to click on the plus mark. I'm going to then state I want the stabilizing wall to end right here and I'm going to choose the green check mark. And just that fast, based on the parameters that we had set up in the forefront, going to an isometric view and showing all layers, I have created a stabilizing wall to help support this tall part on a 450 system. Now, quick note, going back to the top and creating a tool path, please note that this material is actually model material. So when it is penetrating into the back of the part at five thousandths, as we noted over here to the right, every 10 layers, paging down on my keyboard, you can see that on every 10 layers, it pops into the part five thousandths of an inch with model material. So we're not causing an imperfection on your part by using support material and creating a void. It actually is model to model material. So going back to an isometric view and showing all layers, that's how fast it is to build a stabilizing wall for a tall part in InSight. Now, if we hop over to the GrabCAD print program, in GrabCAD print, we have an option right here, stabilizers. In this program, all the information is individual. By clicking on the information, highlighting icons, it will give you more info about what each one of those specific functions mean. I click on the part. I grab this little arrow and say I want you to start this high on the piece. And then by selecting that specific layer and highlighting it, it creates the stabilizing wall. I can then circle around and say I want you to start here, drag that green arrow back, and I want you to finish here, slide this green arrow around, and again, just that fast, based on these parameters, I have created a stabilizing wall in the GrabCAD print program. So there you have it. That's as fast and easy as it can be to create a stabilizing wall for an FDM part that is really tall and might need some extra support during the process of being built. If you have any other questions, please search us out at GoEngineer.com. And again, thanks for spending a little time with me today. Bye.